Well, hi guys. A few days ago, I asked you if you would like me to film another grocery shopping video and you answered yes. So I gave you three options asking should we go to Superstore, Corp or Costco. More than 50% of you voted for Costco. <laughs> we actually went to Costco and I was filming there and everything was going well until my children decided that not today mother. So they were not on their best behavior. Here we are filming the grocery haul instead. This is what we usually buy Maybe not on a weekly basis. There are some items that would probably last us like six months. <laughs> but I thought I'd show you anyway what we usually buy at Costco and how much all of that cost. So I'm thinking about starting with something that we buy occasionally, not all the time. So for example, these like healthy kind of candy snacks for the girls. They're like little jelly fruities, we call them. So this is what we used to buy in England and we still buy it in Canada. They really love it and I just like pop tiny bags into my bag and I carry them with me everywhere in case they lose it. Not today. I didn't have any with me. So we usually buy these and these are 11.69 Canadian dollars. All the prices will be in Canadian dollars because I'm based in Canada, I'm in Calgary. So there is one. I'll start moving them away a bit so you can really see me. Um, another thing we buy every few months is for the days when I am not in the mood to cook anything. They're just like little frozen burritos. Nothing good in them. Tessa eats them sometimes. If I fancy something super simple, I eat those. So they will go straight into the freezer. And these are $14.99, so just under $15. Good, pop it in the freezer, forget about it. Something that I buy every time I go to Costco is this hummus with caramelized onions. We've tried a lot of hummus of this brand, like different flavors and combinations. Caramelized onions is the one and something that you can't buy at Costco and I've been going on about these things on my Instagram for like weeks now are these plain samosa chips I don't know if you can see that that we buy at Safeway or Co-op they are made in Airdrie which is just outside Calgary and oh my goodness they're so good so I dip them into this hummus delicious and for two kind of jars what are they of hummus um is 6.49 and they're pretty big you can buy them in supermarket in like chain supermarkets like co-op and safeway and superstore but i feel like the the actual jars tins whatever they are um they are a lot smaller so this is a good deal 6.49 for two what do we have now should we move on to again something that we don't buy very often and like this is something we're trying for the first time i am getting into healthier cooking and um i got some coconut shredded coconut to add into like my snacks and it's huge and it was i think it was like 10 bucks so this will last us for a while it's got like a zip lock uh, packaging so that's pretty good we lost this for a while um another thing that we add into our snacks when we are trying to eat healthier is chia seeds as well buy them like i want to say every two months again ziploc everything stays fresh and this bag is 7.99 canadian dollars some hazelnuts for baking sometimes ollie bakes brownies and stuff so we add some nuts or just like for snacks and these hazelnuts uh i think they're also like 10 bucks or something 12 11.99 for these now should we move on to dairy and then put it away ollie loves this greek yogurt like loves it this much <laughs> and we get two packs and there's two in each box and he just loves these so much i think this is like around 10 bucks for uh for one and we have two of these 
I think that's what it is. Like, oh god, I need to find it. Yogurt for the girls. There is 12 and 12, so 24 raspberry and strawberry. Those are uh, 10.99 for this. Last is again for like I want to say a week, 10 days or something like that. And the actual milk, <laughs> it's semi skimmed, and, and I still drink milk. I add milk to my coffee. Milk is. 4.49 for that much four liters so yeah not bad um should i want to produce and then the meats and breads so produce i love snap peas they're so good and like i really want to open this bag right now but i actually have a bag of them open and i'm about to finish them so i wanted some fresh these are super expensive, but they are just so easy to snack on and they're so healthy and I just love them so much. This bag, not huge, $8.79. We don't buy these very often. I barely buy them in winter, but in the summer, I really fancy fresh vegetables and fruits. So I buy these from time to time. Potatoes. Tessa just discovered that she's in love with baby potatoes so <laughs> we got a big bag she would probably go through this bag in four sittings let's see how much the potatoes were 7.99 for this bag so not too bad right what do we have next i love corn tessa loves corn ollie loves corn so we go through this pretty quickly uh and there's like eight of them and now it's barbecue season so Ollie makes a lot of those in barbecue and those are $8.99 this salad obsessed Asian cashew it's already like mixed and everything you just pour the dressing and add some like little nuts that come in the packaging and it doesn't look huge but Ollie and I couldn't eat this whole pack in one meal like between him and I so it lasts us for like a meal and a half probably and this is 349 a box of tomatoes like cherry tomatoes i think no it's with gems they're all different colors so i may as well eat them just because they're all different colors so we get these and tomatoes were 5.99 I decided to try figs today. They look pretty good and I think figs are in season right now or about to be in season. And they were $8.99. Probably just gonna try once, but they look lovely. Um, this, oh my god, it smells so good. Tuscan style melon. I really, I'm obsessed with melons and watermelons. I love them like the whole summer. Um, that's all I'm eating basically. I don't even eat actual dinners sometimes. I just go through like half a watermelon. I'm obsessed. This one was $4.99 and watermelons are pretty good, pretty tasty at Costco. This one was $6.99. Sometimes when I feel particularly fruity, <laughs> I would get two watermelons in just one grocery trip. So these are so good. Now let's get on with bread. Um, there's like two loaves of bread, pretty big. There's some ancient grains, organic. They're pretty tasty and they were... So, <laughs> so I just spent about seven minutes trying to find them in the receipt for two loaves. $7.49 because it's probably organic bread so it's really expensive but it's tasty now my favorite part i like all the the meat and fish uh ollie really wanted to get this salmon I'll put it in a bag because it starts leaking from time to time um so this piece is 26 dollars we would probably go through this in two sittings, Ollie and I. The girls are not too much into fish or meat, so they're pretty vegetarian. Um, so this is so good on a barbecue. 
but I was kind of do we fancy spending more than 20 bucks on fish like for like a meal or two meals and Olive was like yes we do because it's just so good it's really fresh and really really tasty um, we sometimes from time to time treat ourselves to this salmon it's smoked salmon and it's not the most expensive one so this pack is about 18.99 yes 18.99 or something like that um, it's pretty expensive, but it's already sliced and everything, and usually we add it up to the salad, and oh my god, if you want to try it, and if you love it, let me know, because it's so good. And last but not least, everybody, like everybody who goes to Costco, do you guys get the rotisserie chicken? Because we do. Not every time we go, but almost every time and it's dinner time now and it's all stuck and we pack it into two bags these days because if it leaks if the juice leaks it's the end but yeah if you go to costco if you've ever been to costco you know they are rotisserie chicken and in canada this one costs 7.99 so not bad if you go to Safeway, I think a similar rotisserie chicken will be like $12.99. I don't know why, but Costco one is so good and it's only $7.99. So it's kind of like you can't pass it by. You just grab it and you have dinner and it's like the whole chicken. It's so good. So I can't tell you how much we spent on everything because we got a lot of other bits and pieces. So I just went through the prices of like the usual things that we buy. To me, Costco is my favorite kind of grocery store, supermarket, I don't know, that they don't call them supermarkets. <laughs> but they have so much there and we would go like grocery shopping for food and we'd end up coming out with like camp chairs or some toys for the kids. There were things for Christmas already i'm filming this middle of august like last week i went in and it was full of halloween stuff and i was like whoa that's early it was christmas stuff today <laughs> like crazy but it kind of gets you in the mood and like what's to come so that's pretty cool and they also have a lot of stuff like um like socks and clothing um a lot of stuff for the house tables couches beds we were just passing by today and you could buy a mattress for your bed at Costco like I didn't even think about that rugs carpets all that stuff so you can kind of get everything in one shop so this video is not sponsored but if you fancy um, some international food that you can't find in every big supermarket chain I suggest Superstore Superstore has so much going on that <laughs> and it's according to some people it's cheaper I'm not quite sure because we buy different things when we go to Superstore and let's say Costco or Safeway or Co-op because those are just closer to us um, but people say that Superstore is cheaper let me know in the comments because even though I go I always end up coming out with so much stuff and I'm like that wasn't particularly cheap but because I buy extras so it's not like big prices or anything so um yeah superstore corp safeway and costco is the places where we usually go grocery shopping and yeah costco is where i get most of our food <laughs> and most of our supplies and one last thing i wanted to mention if you guys know um the people at the exit doors of costco they just go through your receipt one last time before you go and like market and stuff sometimes they draw pictures for the girls but today they weren't behaving so they didn't deserve a picture um what is this for like you just paid for all of your stuff why are they checking your receipt as you come out let me know in the comments if you know the answer to this question because i'm dying to know why is this happening okay so this is it let me know in the comments what you thought about the prices and the selection and everything. I'm really sorry again that I couldn't take you into the actual store to show you, but I'm a mom. 
the kids were a priority and it just wouldn't have been a really nice video so i actually did you a favor <laughs> if you enjoyed this video give it a big like don't forget to subscribe if you're new here and i'll see you all again next time